Hello, this is Cookie Can of Corn Cutter, and welcome back to Apple Field, where we have Platypie Baseball here being broadcast onto the classic Cookie Gaming channel. It is Platypie against the Wide Blows at their home stadium. Kitty Kaufman will lead things off here for the Platypie. And that's strike one to Kitty Kaufman from Gary Rahner, who has a 137 ERA, .68 whip. 22 strikeouts. And now that's up the middle. Base hit. Good start for the Platypie here. As Kitty Kaufman hammers a leadoff single back up the middle. Hera O. Wugliams will step up to the plate now. Gary Rahner sports a forcing. Oh, that's a hanger, but just behind it is Hera, so that'll be whacked foul. There's a ball. Gary has a 137 ERA, now a 7-2 whip. 0.72 whip and 22 K's on the season and now that's a high fly ball that's going back but it's a can of corn for Zamora there out number one up steps Beefcake McStevens he's got a 345 average on the year with a couple of homers to his name and oh back up the middle base hit Charlie browned Gary on that one as Muffin Studwick will step in here with the runners at first and second. One out. Down the line, but caught by Hicks. And both runners will get back safely. Good base running by them, and Scooter Sandbrick will be up now. Last chance here in the bottom of the first, and it'll take ball one low. Ball two, known as not really... Uh, being good at driving runners in as there's a strike but uh, ha does have 11 RBIs on this season so has improved upon it this year but he'll swing and miss at that one splitters the splinters the bat as he strike at, strikes out to end the inning we headed to the bottom of the first after two hits nothing going for the platypie and Ace Von Aceson will take the mound for the Platypie. He has a 556 ERA, a 159 whip, and 17 Ks on the year. And already has Akira on the ropes. And Akira will hit it to Kaufman on the ground. She'll fire to first after fielding it. And there's out number one, Darcy Hicks, the first baseman for the wide load, will step up to the plate. Ace features a four-seam fastball, a two-seam fastball, slider, curve, and changeup. Now here comes the payoff pitch as Weekly popped into right field, but Hera will make quick work of that one. There's out number two, and Wade Hobbs will step up to the plate here with two outs for the wide loads. Ace looking for a 1-2-3 start to his outing today. And that's lying down the first baseline foul. And now a chance to do just that in the inning. And oh, did not pull the string on the high cheese. And strike three. This time it caught a corner. What a pitch there by Ace Von Aces. And what a sequence. And now we're headed to the top of the second. It's still 0-0. Zero, zero. Sky Rodriguez hoping to hit one into the sky deep on this one to give her team the lead early on and that's foul that's her game hitting home runs she's got three on the year so far with 10 knocked in does still have a 353 average but she's gonna strike out looking on this one like an iceberg she's frozen and we're uh and stepping in now is willie bacon ball one outside whacked foul the one and one from Gary Rahner. And lined right at Gaspar. Well, he'll have to take a couple of steps to his right, but he'll make the easy play just the same. And now Jude Harrell will come up here with two outs. The last hope of the Platypi second inning. And he'll pop one into shallow right field. It's in no man's land. Will it be caught? And yes, it will hang up just enough in the air for Zamora to make the grab. So, after... Uh, one and a half will head to the bottom of the second with no score.
And now that's a little grounder. Sandberg will feel to his left. Step on the back himself for out number one. Harmony Strauss now up. She's the catcher for the wide loads. And now a weak grounder. McSevens charges, fires, and got her for out number two. And Janice Freeman will step in. A, an ace on aces and staring down a very quick inning. And another grounder to McSevens. A short. He'll backhand. Fire to first. Got him for out number three. So after two innings, wide load still being uh, no hit. And we'll head to a scoreless top of the third inning. Ace Von Aceson, though the pitcher is, oh, got that call. Does have a 286 average with an RBI on the year. And oh my word, puts a charge into this one deep. But oh, Akira will make the grab a few steps short of the warning track for out number one. And Kitty Kaufman will step up now. Unfortunately, Von Aceson couldn't quite add to his, uh, to his day. But that's okay. As we'll see if Kitty Kaufman can get anything going. Now a 2-1 count. And that's a liner caught, though, by Hicks. Oh, man. That one was a scorcher over there to first. Hero Wugliams will step in with two outs now. And now that's a grounder to Friedman at second. He'll fire to first. And it's in time for out number three. So no hits and no runs for the Potipi in the top of the third. We're headed to the bottom half here. Still no score. And strike one. Von Aceson significantly lowering his ERA as that's just foul down the line. Now an 0-2 count quickly. There's a ball. And the 1-2 payoff is going to fall. There's the first hit. And unfortunately, there goes the no-hitter for Ace Von Aceson. The wide loads now have a runner on first with uh, nobody out. Hardy Zamora, the right fielder, is up to bat. And he's ahead 2-1 two and one so far in Von Aceson. And will pop one foul. It's now 2-2. Two and two. Not killer wheels at first. That's now that's 3-2 and two in the dirt. 3-2 and swung on a miss. The inside hook. First strike three. And Gary Rahner will step in. The infield... Or sorry, the outfield is going to be shallow. The infield's going to move into bunt formation. We'll see what happens here. And, oh, he's swinging away at a 98-mile-an-hour fastball. Infield still in the bunt formation. And now they're going to move back to double play depth. I know, too. And now he's bunting. Oh, my word. And the throw to first is in time. The runner will advance to second. Perfect, beautiful bunt. Had everybody... Surprise after two straight swing and misses, but a great bunt, but this one, the bunt will be in vain as this one is grounded to second. Kaufman will fire to first, and that'll end the inning for out number three. One hit for the wide lows to break up the perfect game, but unfortunately for them, still scoreless. As BPA will step in, strike one. He's the shortstop today. And Freeman will back in a second. Fire to first for out number one. There's a strike. Muffin Studwick, his average is dipping. And I know what you're saying. A 438 average and it's dipping? Well, of course it's dipping. That is a liner right on Hicks. And oh my word, these pot of pie hitters have been just late on a lot of stuff, but still lining the heck out of these balls. And now that's hit well, but foul down the first baseline by Scooter Sandbrick, who's 0 for 1. And he's going to line to Leitner at third. And there's out number 3. Nothing doing for the pot of pie here in the top half of the fourth. And Darcy Hicks will step in. And the pot of pie on the offensive side, they haven't even they haven't had a base runner since the first inning. They definitely have to get something cooking and help out Von Aces in here, who's only allowed one hit through three innings. And now McStevens under it at the infield dirt. He was in the outfield, but now will step in 
and we'll make the grab for out number one. McStevens kind of, he's a third baseman by trade, but kind of moved over to the shortstop position this year to give Sky Rodriguez some more playing time. Um, Sky, because Sky has just been knocking the cover off the ball lately, and there, strike three, a one-two strikeout on the high cheese. And now with two outs, Hack Liner will step in. He's seen a lot of action on the defensive side today. With a lot of line drive outs to the infield. And now on the 1-1 pitch, he'll weakly foul it. And here comes the 1-2 pitch. Ooh, tried to get him with a back foot slider. Couldn't get him upstairs with the cheese. Got him for out number three, and we're headed to the top of the fifth, still scoreless. And let's see if Sky Rodriguez can get something going here against Gary Runner. And that's up the middle, base hit! And there's the first spot of high base runner since the very first inning. A very well pitched game by Gary Runner so far. Let's see if Willie Bacon can get her over. And oh, he's gonna bunt, but it's just gonna get foul. They continue with the play, but no need. And now he's going to bunt again, and it's going to be a good one. The throws to first. That's all the play that, or the only play that Ronner had. And it's now runner on second with one out for Jude Harrell here. And now that's hit deep down the third base line and caught, though. Sky, late tag, but she will tag. And, oh, she's dead to rights. Caught in between second and third in a pickle. Oh, no. And Goner will no sorry Akira will finally tag her out and so nothing doing after a promising start for the Platypie it's still scoreless despite their leadoff single Von Aceson doing well today he coming into the season was announced the ace and here comes the one two pitch what it'll miss the ace for the Platypie but it just didn't have a good start to the season. And there's a strike out there on the 3-2 pitch. Up and in with the heat. 97 miles per hour. And there's one out now in the inning for Janice Friedman. The second baseman on the day. for and The second baseman today for the wide loads. And they're going up and in again. And strike three. Throws him like an ice cube couldn't pull the trigger and now two outs for Gaspar the shortstop ball one and I mean it seems like a simple formula as that one's whacked straight into the dirt Harold will make the play and there's out number three way to pounce on it like a tiger for Harold and now it's still scoreless we're heading to the top of the sixth inning Von Aceson will lead things off and he'll take ball one outside. And now that's going to be through the hole. Base hit. Through first and... Uh, sorry, through the right side of the infield. A worm burner. But uh, a leadoff hit for Kitty Kaufman now to do something with. And now that's up the middle. And that's going to be a base hit. Von Asesen took a big turnaround second. But he'll think wisely of it. And head back. And now... Hera O'Wugliams is up. And Hera is going to square and it's going to be foul. We'll see if she's bunting again and she appears to be. And gets it down on the third base side. The throw, good throw by the uh, opposing pitcher to get the out at first. Hera did not make that easy but it will be a sacrifice. Bunt runners at second and third for Beefcake who's going to bloop one in down the third base line. There! It's going to be two runs scored, a bloop, two RBI single for Beefcake McStevens. It's now 2 nothing Plata Pie, and here comes Muffin Sudwick, who's going to line one up the middle, but it's going to be caught by Akiro on a frozen rope. My word. Scooter Sandbrick will step in. He's 0 for 2 on the day. And he's going to line one into left, and it's going to be trapped by Hobbs. On a dive, he can't quite make the play. Good job to knock that one down and not let it get past him. But now second, first and second for Sky Rodriguez, who will take ball one low. Ball two inside. 
Let's see if she can knock one over the fence here, though, of course, we'll still take a hit. Beefcake will probably score on any hit, given that there are two outs. The 3-1, and she comes unglued, but unfortunately, foul. 3-2, and two. runners will be going, and that'll be whacked foul. Runners sent in motion again, and ball four. Good hold up by Sky Rodriguez. She'll check her swing there for ball four. Bases loaded now for Willie Bacon, who's 0 for 1 and bunted his last time. A good sacrifice bunt. And now he's going to pop one. Shallow center field. Second base shortstop and center field all chasing. But Gaspar, the shortstop, will be the one who calls off the rest and makes the grab for out number three, but not before. Four hits and two runs come across for the Potapai, not to mention a walk. Now 2 nothing for them. And let's see if Von Aceson can get a shutdown inning with 8-9-1 coming up. And the 0-2 pitch. Low liner McStevens that will make the grab before he can hit the ground. And there's out number one. And now Mash Donga will come in to pinch hit for Gary Rahner. So Rahner's day comes to an end as that's Going to be fielded on a dive by Sam Burke. Toss the first to the covering pitcher. Von Aces and will, will be out number two. My word, what a play there by Scooter. But uh, Rodgers Day will come to an end on the pitching side of things for the wide loads. Not a bad outing. Went six, only gave up two runs. Seven hits, though. Four of those in the last inning. And just over the leaping Kitty Kaufman. And there's a two-out hit for the wide loads. For Darcy Hicks, the number two hitter. Strike one. Runner going. The throw is not in time. Just in there, safe at second. And now, runner at second with two outs. A hit will probably score him. And there's strike two. Setting up for the high cheese here. The pitch popped up. McStevens under it in the infield, almost on the infield grass, and will make the grab for out number three. Now Bale Bozer will come in to pitch for the wide loads. Jude Harrell steps in. He's a southpaw with an 880 ERA, 215 whip, 15 K, sports a four-seamer, a slider. That's caught right back at him for out number one. Uh, and he also has a curve and chain, or sorry, not a curve, a screwball and change. Now that's up the middle and that's caught. My word. Lightning fast reflexes for the wide load pitcher here. And there's strike one to Kitty Kaufman, who's two for three on the day. And make it three for four. She'll have another single. And a two-out rally perhaps starting here for the Fadapai. That's up the middle, base hit. And so now runners at first and second after Kitty Kaufman takes a big turnaround second. She'll hold up, though. And now Beefcake McStevens with a, up with a scoring chance. There's ball one. Ducks on the pond for him. Here with two outs in the top of the seventh inning. And way inside. Buzz the tower on that one. Ball three. And oh, he'll make him pay. That's going to split the alley in left field. One run's going to score. They're going to wave Hera home. The relay is well late. It's 4 nothing Potta Pie. Sound the sirens. It's 4 nothing. A sizable lead now. And now it looks like they're going to intentionally walk Muffin Studwick. Three straight hits. Now an intentional walk. All with two outs. And Scooter Sandbrick will step up. And he's going to pop it up. And the center fielder under it, Akira, will make the grab for out number three. But not before a couple runs come across with three hits. It's now 4 nothing Platypie here in the seventh. And with just 68 pitches, Von Aceson is going to continue also with a four-run lead. 
and he's had a great outing today, and now that's going to sneak through for a base hit. So the wide load looking to strike back as Izzy Baker will now uh, come into pinch run. Hack liner up to the plate. Three straight hits in the top half. With the kill shot being that... Uh, oh, that's double play ball, but Kitty's going to catch it on the fly for round number one. But the uh, crippling blow in the top half was that BK McSteven stubble set up by two great pieces of hitting by Harrow, Wugliams, and Kitty Kaufman. Now the 1-0, trying to get a double play ball or something here. As there's a strike outside corner to Harmony Strauss and fooled on a changeup. Set up up and in and popped up weakly. And caught by Jude Harrow in foul territory for out number two. With two outs here. got Still got to worry about uh, the speed over at first. And he's running. The throw is not in time. And now a runner is in scoring position here with uh, two outs. Ball two. Okay. Did not get the call there from the umpire. But we'll get that one. Strike one. Strike two. And they're setting up up and in. And that's going to be weakly popped. In the right center, or sorry, yeah, shallow right center field. Kitty Kaufman will range out and make the grab for out number three. So a hit, but no damage comes from that. Still 4 nothing pot of pie as uh, Prince Prize will come in to catch. And now that's lined right at Prize, though. <laughs> oh, my word. Can you believe it? Just coming into the ball game, I believe. And already a frozen rope right at him. And there's a 2-0 count now to Willie Bacon, 3-0. He's 0 for 2 with a sacrifice bunt on his line. And another frozen rope at Prince Prize and left. Jude Harrell will step in. He's over three on the day, and he'll take ball one at his chin. And, oh, good stop by Gaspar on the dive. The throw to first in time. What a play over there. My word. And now we'll head to the bottom of the eighth. It's still 4 nothing Platypie as Chimo Gaspar will step in. And this one, first pitch from Von Aceson, who stays out there as well outside. And now Liner into right, and that's a base hit. Throw to first. Just late, almost not a base hit. What a play, or what heads up awareness over there by Hera to try to get him at first. Unfortunately, was a little late, and Ella Royds is going to pinch hit here. Strike one. And the Plata Pie manager confident in Monasis in here, but this is going to get into the corner, into right field. Hera gets to it, but it deadened. In the corner, the relay home by Sam Brick is not in time. A run will score. And now up steps Jules Bergman, pinch hitting for Bowser. And now they're going to, the Platypi will go to the pin. It's going to be Kamari Roundhouse. He's got a 386 ERA, 129 whip, and 6Ks on the year. Sports a four seam, two seam slider, and curveball. And he'll fire in strike one there. There and sorry, viewers, for that hiccup. My word. The 0 2 grounded to short, and oh, just hit weak enough to advance the runner to third. And now one out with a runner on third base with Bungo Akiro, and they're going to intentionally walk him here to set up the double play. We'll see if Kamari can get it from, uh, let's see, who's up here? Darcy Hicks. See if he can get the ground ball. And runner going. The throw to second is not in time. So the double play effect will not be in effect, I guess. And 
Now runners are at second and third, and now they're just going to intentionally walk Darcy after falling behind him 3-0. and The fourth one missed very wide, and now Prince Prize will step in. I believe this is his first at-bat of the day after coming in. And now that's caught on a line at first by Sandbrick with a little leap there for out number two. Now with two outs, the bases are loaded for Hack Liner. Don't want to miss anything over the heart of the plate. There's strike one. Grand Slam does give them the lead, unfortunately. But let's see if he can hold them right there as it's an 0-2 count. They're setting up upstairs, and it's a high pop. Bacon tracking, and he will make the grab for out number three. So we're headed to the ninth inning. Molly Pops is going to come in to pitch after a stressful bottom half of the eighth. Kamari is going to be pinch hit for by Linda Hand. Molly Pops has a 315 ERA, 140 whip, and 18 K. Sports a four seamer, a two seamer, and a curveball. And now that's a deep butt under it is Akira for out number one. And now Kitty Kaufman will step in here with one out in the ninth, and she'll line one low liner and caught at Akira's shoestrings. My word for out number two. And Hera will step in here and will take ball one quickly. Ball two to Molly Pops. Or from Molly Pops. And now, oh my word! That's a towering shot! And that one will get over! A line drive cookie crushed into right center field. 417 feet per second. Homer of the year, 14th RBI, and that ball was absolutely annihilated into right center field. That makes it a four-run game, and Beefcake will step in and will take ball one very high. And now there's a liner up the middle base hit. So some insurance being added on here for the pot of pie as Muffin Studwick will step in. Not a good day for him. 0 for 3. Did have an... Er, yes, did have an intentional walk, though. And that's ball one, well outside. And now that's hit high and deep, but, oh, Muffin just under it. And there's out number three, but not before... Um, not before Hera O'Wugliams puts a charge into a baseball deep into right center field to make this a 5-1 ball game. And now Walt Huckster will come in here not a save opportunity but he hasn't had work in a while and he'll close things out here today he doesn't have a strikeout on the year but a 257 ERA and a .71 whip and he is the closer for the Platypie and now that's hit high and deep but to the biggest part of the ballpark Willie Bacon will have plenty of room for out number one and actually had to come in on that one almost misjudged it Walt has a four-seamer, a curve, and a changeup, and he'll face Janice Friedman here. And will quickly fall 2-0 to the number six hitter, but we'll get back through the count here with a strike, and now that's hit to Kaufman. She'll backhand, fire to first, and she got him for out number two. Chimo Gaspar will step in here, the last hope for the wide loads in this game, and there's strike one. Walt going right after these hitters. Exactly what you want to see in a 5-1 ball game. And now one more pitch. Here comes the payoff. Caught him looking. Strike three. Gaspar will salute as it was a great pitch. And the pot up high will reign victorious here. Over the division foes. The wide blow to fall to 8-11. I believe the pot up high will go to 11-7 on the year and the win goes to Ace Von Aceson a stellar performance seven innings five hits just one run allowed on six K's his record will improve to two and one and the loss will go to Gary Ronner who pitched six innings scattered seven hits gave up just two earned runs walked a batter and struck out two he will fall to two and one his first loss of the year Pitched 
five very good innings, but uh, Beefcake McStevens is our top Metalhead Softflare player of the game. He went four for five with a double and four RBIs. Our runner-up player of the game, Ace Von Aceson, seven innings pitched, five hits scattered, an earned run, six Ks. And Hera O'Wugliams, our honorable mention, who went two for four with a moonshot homer, an RBI, and two runs scored. And that'll be it here for Friday Night Baseball. I hope you enjoyed this one. This is Cookie Can of Corn Cutter signing off with Pot of Pie Baseball on the Classic Cookie Gaming Channel. See ya!